Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Welcome to the Oklahoma Virtual College Fair. We are excited that you're joining us tonight. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. You can direct your questions to specific schools by including their names in your question or you can direct a question for all of our panel um, presenters to answer for you. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. This presentation is being recorded, like all others, and will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered. So now, I would like to turn it over to our presenters We'll first be hearing from tonight, Wichita State University. Okay, thank you. So hello everyone, my name is Jerome Bennett. I'm the Oklahoma Regional Admissions Representative from Wichita State University. Our university is a four-year public research university located in Wichita, Kansas. We have just over 11,200 undergraduate students and 16,000 total students. Our admissions at the university are rolling and we are test optional. Our requirements to the institution are a 2.25 GPA or a 21 ACT or a 1080 SAT. So any one of those three can get you admitted to Wichita State. We offer three different kinds of scholarships. Merit scholarships require a test score and our scholarship competitions and departmental scholarships do not. So if you have a 3.25 unweighted GPA and at least a 22 ACT, you can receive one of our freshman merit scholarships. And they range anywhere from two to $4,000 per year. Our scholarship competitions have a little bit higher range in terms of the requirements for those, either a 3.5 unweighted GPA or 27 ACT or a 1280 SAT or rank in the top 10% of our class, in your class. So if you're interested in one of those, you can submit an application for admission and also apply for one of our scholarship competitions. So let's get down to business. Um, what do we believe um, we have to offer you all? So we think that we have several benefits for you. Affordability is one of those. So students in 19 counties in Oklahoma, really surrounding Oklahoma City and Tulsa, can pay in-state tuition rates through our Shocker City Partnership. This makes us the most affordable research university in Oklahoma and Kansas. And as you can see on the slide here, um, it's about $8,434 per year for tuition and fees. No, no worries though if you don't live in one of these counties, because if you live outside of there, you receive a 33% discount on out-of-state tuition through our Shocker Select program. That makes it about $11,800 per year for tuition and fees. Still very affordable and comparable with other research institutions in Oklahoma and Kansas. Applied learning is something else. We want every single student to have an internship, research opportunity, clinical opportunity, a rotation, or other real-world experience in their major before they graduate from Wichita State. Last year, our students earned over $5 million in wages with over 1,100 different internships at 500 different companies. So one of the benefits of being the largest city in Kansas is that it affords us lots of opportunities for internships because of the amount of business and industry in Wichita. Our outcomes, so according to Kansas Regents data, uh, WSU graduates have higher job placement rates and higher starting salaries for Kansas jobs than any other graduates from other uh, public Kansas institutions. And then lastly, our diversity and opportunity. So we're the most diverse campus in the state of Kansas with over 38% of our students coming from a diverse background. Also over 44% of our students are first generation students. So we have a ton of first uh, generation students, the first in their family to go to college. So if that's you, just know that you'll have a lot of other students similar to you and a lot of other resources that are available to you. So at our institution, we have eight degree granting colleges, 70 undergraduate programs and 230 areas of study. So some of our popular or unsung majors, our engineering is probably what we're most well known for at our institution, our College of Business, nursing, education. Communication is one of the unsung programs that they do a really great job of educating and, and putting our students into the workforce. Uh, criminal justice, we actually have the second oldest criminal justice program in the country, as well as forensic science. We have a top 20 sport management program. We also have a broad range of fine arts, so everything from music to performing arts to digital media arts to art design and creative industries, including graphic design, studio art, art education. Our digital and media arts includes audio production, game design, filmmaking, and animation. So I want to touch a little bit more and swing back around to the applied learning. I talked about that as one of our 
um, highlights. So I want to tell you a few stories of some of our students. So um, we, we, again, we really want our students to get that outside of the classroom experience. So we have a young lady who's from Oklahoma City named Maddie Smith. Um, her freshman year, she got an internship with the National Institute of Aviation Research. She was really persistent in reaching out to the Career Development Center and asking what could she do. She really was ready to get into an internship. So she got a really uh, good paying job with the National Institute of Aviation Research as a freshman. We have Kristen Boxman. She was a student who studied in our Elliott School of Communication. Um, she completed an internship with our local CBS affiliate as a student. And then before she graduated, she had a full-time on-air uh, a recording job from the uh, from the affiliate and it's a position that she still holds right now. We have a young man who uh, named Jacob Gutierrez. He worked with WSU Athletics and then he also worked with the NCAA college football playoffs. We have a young lady also named Sierra Brown. Uh, she's an HR major. She's a senior this year at Wichita State. So this past summer, she completed a very prestigious internship with Goldman Sachs. She um, has already been offered a full-time position once she graduates this, May, this upcoming May of 2021. So those are just a few examples of how our students are getting outside of the classroom and earning jobs, earning money, building um, networking opportunities, relationships. That's going to propel them further into their career. Also, a significant part of our campus is the Innovation Campus. It blends together industry and community partnerships with our students, giving our students an opportunity to go further with Wichita State than just a traditional college campus. Um, that is where we have a lot of business and industry. We have restaurants on there. We have housing on there. We have a whole bunch of different things that connect students um, with the uh, Wichita area. Jerome, have you- One, uh, one last thing Jerome. I want to touch on. I'm sorry to interrupt. I know I'll give you yes. a couple more seconds. I just wanted to make sure that um, you, okay. I just want to make sure your slides, if they weren't, if you're were trying to advance them, they weren't. I just wanted to double check on that. So. Yeah, no, I only, okay. I only had a few okay. slides, so I wasn't, Great. I wasn't. I just wanted to be certain. And don't worry, you still <laughs> have like 50 seconds now. Thank you. Or 45. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate you checking on that. Um, yeah, so um, with the Innovation Campus, again, yeah, we have a lot of different uh, businesses. We have an engineering building that has 25 different laboratories for hands-on learning for students to get in and get their hands dirty. Um, we have uh, huge businesses like NetApp and Airbus that have all of their Wichita-based operations on our campus, just to name a few. So a couple of things I want to touch on before I finish is that we're currently still hosting in-person visits. We also do virtual visits as well. Our in-person visits are Monday through Friday. Um, you can schedule them at wichita.edu slash visit, as you can see on the slide right here. And then lastly, here's my contact information. I want to make sure that you have that and that you're able to connect with me. Feel free to take a picture of this and reach out anytime. We have all of our social media listed on uh, the left side of the slide. And the last thing I do want to mention to you is that Wichita State, um, our accessibility and affordability and impactful education are really key for us. Um, because of our focus on these concepts, we believe that we can help students achieve their goals. Um, our university is one that's advancing, innovative, and really looking to meet the needs of our students. And we want you to know that your students will, or that you as students will have the resources and support that you'll need for success at Wichita State. Thank you for joining us this evening. Hi, Drew. Thank you so much, Jerome, for sharing about that. And I'm glad we we're able to um, have all of our attendees learn more about Wichita State University. Our, um, our schedule does say that we have Western Oklahoma State College next, but unfortunately they have not been able to join us right now. So we will be um, moving on next to East Central University. Michaela, your mute button is still on. It's okay, 2020, it happens. There it is. I'm sorry, I'm unmuted now, awesome. Yes, anyway, my looks good. <laughs> my name is Michaela Moss. I'm one of the recruiters at East Central University. I'm also a recent graduate. I graduated May 2019 with a degree in mass communications. Um, so just a little bit more about ECU. We are in Ada, Oklahoma. We're a mid-sized DT university. We are four years. Um, just move on to this slide right here. All right, we actually do recruit from all over, um, from 20 plus states and 30 plus countries. You really get to meet people from all over the world, from different backgrounds and cultures. Um, our class sizes range from about 18 to one. So we are a little bit smaller, but we, I feel like, ugh, I'm sorry. I feel like that really helps because um, you really get to build those relationships with your professors and get the help you need. 
Uh, we also have about 70 degree options, 60 plus clubs or organizations on campus. We actually are ranked as the eighth most affordable college in the nation with rates as low as 7,000 a semester, 14,000 a year. Uh, we actually have a 45% of our students graduating debt free. Another fun fact is we are animal friendly. We've had um, different animals on campus like therapy dogs, goat yoga. We've even had camels on campus. Um, even one of our residence halls right now is our same apartments are pet friendly. You can have your cat or dog or any pet that uh, at a weight limit of 50 pounds. Um, something else I want to touch on, we are doing in-person tours right now. You can go and schedule that at ecok.edu slash tour ecu. Um, our tours are Monday through Friday at 10 or 2. Um, we do have some requirements. We do require you to wear a mask um, and your tours are individual. So you will have your own tour guide. You're not going to be with any other um, people except for you and your parents or whoever else you bring with you. Um, but just for our freshman checklist, um, for applications, you can go to ecok.edu slash apply to fill out the application. Uh, there is a $20 application fee, but once you submit the application, you can go ahead and send in your um, official documents to the admissions and records. So that's a document such as your official high school transcript, college transcript if you've done any concurrent classes, and your ACT or SAT scores. And lastly, you can fill out your FAFSA, which will, has opened up October 1st, which will allow you to receive all those scholarships. Um, some requirements right now, we still are requiring the ACT, so that's an ACT of 20 or a GPA of 2.7, top 50% of your class, now that is either or. All right, and then on to our freshman scholarships. These are actually connected to our application to ECU. So all you have to do is apply to ECU. Once you've been admitted, we based it on your ACT and GPA. Uh, we do have two deadlines, which is December 15th and February 1st. Um, some of our scholarships for the freshman scholars are limited to how many we can award. So I always encourage students to go ahead and apply to ECU before December 15th, because you'll really be in the running for those certain scholarships. And then there are other scholarships on our website, such as our foundation scholarships, departmental and private scholarships. Uh, for our foundation scholarships, there is only one application, which we listed in blue on our website. And then the scholarships for foundation are all listed right below it. And that deadline is again, February 1st. And just some more statistics that we have for you. So again, we have 70 plus degree options at ECU, ranging from nursing, business, fine arts, criminal justice, uh, pre-professional programs. Uh, before our pre-professional, we have a 93% of, of our students getting accepted into medical school. Uh, we have a 96% of our students passing the NCLEX test uh, first time. And we also have 100% of our students getting into law school. And finally, I just want to invite everyone to our senior day coming up November 4th. Uh, the, it's a free event, which will include a complimentary, complimentary lunch and a free t-shirt. Um, you'll get to learn a lot about ECU, you even enjoy one of our mock lectures, um, and you even possibly get to have a tour as well of our campus. Uh, registration deadline is October 28th. We'd love to see you on campus. Um, that is all I have for you. So if you have any questions, go ahead and send it in that chat. We'll answer those as quickly as possible. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much for sharing more about East Central University. Again, to all of our attendees, please feel free to enter a question into our chat box. You can direct it to a specific school, or you can address it for all of our um, presenters to answer about their institution. Our next presentation will be from Cameron University. Am I good? I can hear you, Maddie. That's great. Haven't seen your screen share yet, but your sound is good and we can see you. Okay, so my name is Madison Lida. I'm an admissions counselor here at Cameron University. Cameron University is a small public uh, two-year, four-year, and six-year university. Hey, yes, we can't see your presentation right now. Oh, That's the wrong one. It happens. Don't worry. Look good, good now. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So Cameron University is a two-year, four-year, six-year university. Um, that basically means that students have the opportunity to continue their education no matter what degree path they're heading towards. The only option that we do not offer are PhDs yet. Um, we are located in Lawton, Oklahoma, which is directly next to Fort Sill, the military base. 
Um, so here at Cameron University, we have over 45 plus degree programs available to students in both associates and bachelors. We have 85 plus practical areas of study, which means that there are 85 areas that students can study within their degree programs or any programs here at Cameron. Um, our university here is pretty diverse with over 51% of our university being um, a diverse population with 63% being female and 37% being male. We have over a thousand classes to choose from and our ratio here in our class sizes is 19 to 1. Um, so here we have a pretty vibrant campus life with lots of options for students to participate on campus and lots of events and organizations such as ROTC, intramural sports, uh, program activities council, which we call PAC. Um, we offer an Aggie Rec Center, which is a place for students to uh, work on their health and fitness and to stay healthy in college. We offer a student wellness center, which offers free basic medical care to all students that are enrolled at Cameron, whether they're staying on campus or not. Greek organizations. So we offer lots of student scholarships for freshmen and transfer scholarships. Um, all of these, we have rolling scholarships here. So there's, there are deadlines, but for the most part, if you enroll before the end of the spring semester, you're still considered for a lot of those. The main one that um, I wanna go ahead and push out there that is due really soon is on February 1st, our biggest and most competitive scholarship is going to be, um, it's gonna be due, it's gonna be February 1st and it's our Presidential Leaders and University Scholars Scholarship, which is a full tuition waiver with a room waiver and a uh, semester stipend for your freshman and your senior year. That is our biggest scholarship here, and that's going to require students to have a, um, a 20 ACT and a 3.0 GPA. Here at Cameron University, like I said, we have rolling admissions. We have over 7,000 plus students. And right now we just introduced something for our bordering states. Texas, Arkansas, and New Mexico will all have the opportunity. Any students from those states will have the opportunity to get um, in-state tuition waivers. Um, here at Cameron University, our tuition and fees average at about $6,450 a semester with fees which is really low, thankfully, and 65% um, of our students actually leave debt-free. Um, like I said, we have lots of opportunities for students to uh, learn and get experience in their programs. Here, like in the journalism department and communication department, we have opportunities for students to work for a student-run newspaper and a real TV studio, which we have the second best TV studio in the state. Another option for students, such as students going into biology or allied health, they have the opportunity to partake in a gross anatomy lab. We are one of three universities in the state to have a gross anatomy lab. It's an opportunity for students to actually work on real human cadavers and get that real experience with over 85% of our um, students getting into med school. Um, that's a really great opportunity considering the other two um, universities that offer gross anatomy labs are either double the cost or private universities. Um, one thing I wanted to share really quick is coming up our virtual pickaxe preview. And we usually have this in person, but this year because of the virus, we had to make a way around that. This is an opportunity for students who either can't come out for a campus tour or um, can't meet, meet with an admissions counselor. This is an opportunity for you to learn about everything from housing. Uh, you can meet with admission counselors. You can uh, learn about each individual department, about our sporting facilities. This is going to be an end-all be-all of information that um, any student is going to need that is considering Cameron University. That's going to be November 7th at 1 p.m. and there is a rolling registration. You can register as late as the day before. And my information I'm going to put up here. This is my information here. If you have any questions regarding Cameron University or if any students have any questions about the admissions requirements or any scholarships, please feel free to contact me. I will answer any and all questions. Great, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing more about Cameron. Our next presentation will be from Redlands Community College. 
Okay. Let me see if I can get it to share the correct screen. Oh, it's saying other screen sharing is still. Let me see. You should be able to share over it, but I did take it down just if that helps too. Okay. I'm not it sure. Looks good. Is, that, is that the full? Yes, it is in okay. the full screen, Stevie. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. And we can hear Great. you. Awesome. Thank you so much. My name is Stevie Jantz and I am actually the former recruitment specialist for Redlands. Our recruiter is actually on the road this evening at another event, so I am filling in for her. Um, Redlands is, we are a community college. We are located in El Reno, Oklahoma, which is a rural community. Um, I really love that because we have no traffic, but we're still super close to, we're like 20 minutes from downtown Oklahoma City, so um, very accessible to all of the exciting things like going to Thunder Games and um, Bricktown, Dodgers Games. Uh, El Reno is also just a super neat community. Um, we have a lake that is within walking distance from our campus. So um, we are an open admissions institution, which means we have a 100% acceptance rate. So really all that it takes to get into Redlands is a high school diploma or a GED. And this is super helpful for students like me who I had a low ACT score. So I did not actually qualify myself to get into a lot of institutions. But with Redlands, we give you that opportunity to get a jump start on your education without having to have those higher ACT scores. We offer um, over 40 different, different degree options. Um, obviously, I don't have time to touch on all of those, but I would like to po point out that those that are the associate in science and associate in art degrees are degrees that are designed to transfer to four-year institutions. We currently have three programs that are available completely online and for, for our students that are interested in only online. Um, schooling and the associate in applied science and career certificate programs are more designed to get our students prepared to go directly into the workforce. So an example of that would be our nursing. We have an RN program at Redlands that is highly sought after and we do have 100% job placement out of that program. Um, paying for Redlands is um, one of the more exciting things, I think, because our in, our tuition rates actually run 13% lower than the state average here at Redlands. That's one of the many benefits of a community college is it is very cost effective to start your education at a community college. Um, you can see the breakdown of what it looks like living on campus versus living at home. We do have um, on campus living that is apartments, not um, dorms, and I'll go over those in a moment. But these are just the breakdown of our tuition, course fees, um, the housing, if you choose to live on campus, books and supplies. And this is a per year estimate, not per semester. So if you're looking at that and living at home close enough in distance to not live on campus, you're only looking at $6,745 per year. So lots of cost savings there. Um, like I mentioned, we do have on-campus housing. It is um, apartment style living. We have two different options. We have two bedroom and four bedroom options available to our students. The two bedrooms, you have your own bathroom. The four bedrooms, you share a bathroom with one other roommate. There are full-size beds, built-in desks, sinks, um, closet, your own door that you can close for privacy. And they're fully furnished. So you're not having to purchase any living room furniture or um, dining room table and chairs. All of that comes with it. There's a full size kitchen with a fridge, stove, sink. Um, well, obviously a sink, <laughs> a fridge, stove, a dishwasher, which is super important. Um, and, and so we also are Wi-Fi ready. You don't have to pay any bills on top of, um, of what you are paying for your apartment here at Redlands. We also have a lot of clubs and organizations available on campus to um, get our students prepared. What I really like, our class size is super small. 
we have like a 19 to 1 ratio for our, our student to, to professor ratio. Um, we have service learning opportunities, which really just gives our students, um, because we are a smaller institution, we really focus on not just the traditional memorize and repeat education. Um, we really like to give our students um, hands-on experience in the classroom that kind of helps with those real life needs in our community. Um, those service learning experiences are super helpful to our students and really makes them outstanding job candidates once they graduate and get out into the workforce. Um, if for those students that are interested, the sports that we have available are baseball, um, men's and women's basketball, cross country, men's and women's, and then women's golf and women's soccer. We also have competitive teams. We're really known for our ag here at Redlands. And so we do have beef and judging teams, academic teams. And then I already kind of touched on the service learning and honors program. We do have um, a wellness center available on campus for students as well. This is just our checklist to go over um, what you need to do in order to apply. We have no application fee at all. It's absolutely free. I encourage everybody to apply um, to Redlands. Also, just to apply for our scholarships. Those are, um, just to give you an idea, Redlands has about 2,000 students on campus. A thousand of our students are high school concurrent students. So the pool of people that you're competing against to get those scholarships is very small. If you're applying for that money, you're really likely to get it. Um, Bailey will put her contact information and the contact of Reagan, who is the other um, recruitment specialist in the chat, so that if you have any questions, you can reach out to her. Thank you, Stevie, for presenting for us on Redlands Community College. Our final school to present with us tonight will be Northwestern Oklahoma State University. Okay, let me share this real quick. Maybe. Okay. Oh, wait. Hello, everybody. Can you guys see me? Yes, we can see you and hear you. Um, and we can see your presentation. It's long ways, not going wide. I'm not sure if that's the view that you want, but we can see your um, screen. Sure. Uh, I don't know if it, let me see if I can. Well, I don't think it's going sideways. Okay, it's, it's not hard. cooperating. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's good. Uh, so. Okay. Um, so my name is Selena. Um, I'm, an, I'm an admissions counselor here at Northwestern Oklahoma State University. Uh, also with me is Colin Storick up here. Um, so if you guys have any questions, we're both here to help anybody out. Um, so first of all, I want to start out by, you know, just, you know, talking about Northwestern. Northwestern, I did four years here. Um, I got a degree in mass communications. And something that I liked about Northwestern when I was a student was that uh, the people here really care. And now that I'm on the flip side of things, you know, working uh, for Northwestern, um, I see it everywhere. Uh, we care about our students and our main goal at Northwestern is to see our students get a college degree and reach their goals. So um, there's several ways that, um, that there's several things that we do to show that we care for our students. So um, I think, okay. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the things. First of all, I want to start out by talking about uh, our virtual ranger preview this year. So Colin's going to kind of show you an invitation. You can register online. This year, we unfortunately are having to do it, are not being able to have people on our campus, which makes us sad. But we actually found out um, a good way to kind of make up for that because we're still giving away our $600 scholarship. So this year, instead of our students having to come to our event to get that $600 scholarship, this year what we're doing is a virtual Ranger preview and all, all you guys have to do is register for Ranger preview. Um, in order to register, you can talk to uh, one of us admissions counselors. We have been going on the road talking to some of our schools or you can go to nwosu.edu 
and on the search bar, search Ranger Preview and register online. So that's the first step, registering for Ranger Preview. Second step is watching Ranger Preview live on our YouTube page on November 7th. Um, so the third step is simply just to get paid. So you register, you watch the event, and you get paid $600. We will be sending out our $600 certificate um, through the mail to every student that registered and watched our event. So um, like I said, this year it's a little bit easier. You literally, I mean, can do it on your bed, watch the event, um, and get $600 easiest thing um we really care for our students so we try to find every possible way to help our students out um okay so in order to be a ranger um we have three ways that you can go about it to be admitted into northwestern the first one is having an act of a 20 or higher but if our students don't meet the act of 20 um as long as they have that 2.7 gpa or are in the top 50% of their class, um, they can get admitted into Northwestern. Now, we know some students, you know, may have had a rough year, rough semester, so their GPA dropped for one reason or another. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Northwestern cares about our students, and we want to see our each and every one of our students succeed. So, if they don't meet that 2.7 GPA requirement, what we do is we have alternative admission. So, with alternative admission, that means they get three letters of recommendation from a teacher, a counselor, principal, superintendent, maybe a boss, and then a letter from themselves stating why they want to come to Northwestern. Really, all we want to do is see that they want to come to college to, um, to, to get a degree. So that's the main thing. And I have a template that kind of helps students out. Um, we're always here for our students and we help them every step of the way. Um, the next page, and you can find this view book online as well, but it kind of shows our degree options. Some of the ones that, uh, are our, that are our top degrees are our nursing program. Our nursing program is one of the best. We are ranked, uh, number 18th in the nation. So all over, um, and we are one of the top ones in the state of Oklahoma. So our nursing program is phenomenal. Um, our business program, our education program, Northwestern actually started out as a education school. So our education program is um, also great. Uh, we also have a really good ag program. Um, a former state FFA advisor, Jack Stats, some of you may have heard of him. He is actually one of our professors now. So um, our ag program is also amazing. Um, so another, what's another program that I'm missing? business uh yeah we have business uh mass comm i mean there's a as you can see there's a whole list of uh, programs but those are just some of our uh top ones um okay so moving on uh we are one of the most affordable schools in the nation and that's something that we honestly take pride in because uh the town of alva is a community that truly supports us um and our scholarship program is one of the best, and that's what kind of helps us um, be affordable is having that scholarship program. Our administration works hard every day to keep our price as affordable as possible for our students, because like I said, we want our students to succeed. So um, the town of Alva, um, this is something that a lot of people don't know, actually has, takes out a certain percentage and the taxes just for the town, just to go towards scholarships. When it comes to scholarships, we are pretty competitive and uh, we love giving our students scholarship. An example is, you know, that virtual Ranger preview. We are willing to start out, you know, giving our students scholarship money. So, uh, okay, moving on, we do have, well, you know, our dorms, we have four dorms on campus. Um, but I think I'm running out of time, is that right? Yes, yes. Is there something you'd like to tell them about how to contact you or find out more information? Yes, definitely. Um, like I said, there's a lot more about Northwestern. It's a, a good school. It's good school, and I hope you guys consider it. Um, you guys can contact us in the recruitment office. You can either email recruit at nwosu.edu, or uh, you can call us at any time, 580-327-8546, um, and I'll type that out in the chat. That way, 
um, everybody has access to that. So. Well, thank you so much for sharing. We really appreciated hearing from Northwestern Oklahoma State University and actually all of our, and all of our schools tonight has been wonderful. Um, right now, just a final reminder for our attendees, this is a great time. We have a few more minutes together, so this is a, the perfect time to add a question if there was um, something you wanted to follow up on that one of our presenters mentioned about their institution, ask a question for all of our um, presenters to answer across the board, you know, do you have X major or anything at all, please, please, please feel free to add that um, to the chat for us. We would love to be able to share those questions um, with everyone. Um, so right now, um, as we are waiting and checking to see if any questions come in, I would love for all of our presenters to turn their cameras back on and come back together as a group. We're going to throw out some additional um, questions to help our attendees and those watching later learn a little bit more. All right, so, oh, and just one quick reminder um, tonight about um, Western Oklahoma State College wasn't able to join us, but we sure hope that you can head to their website and get more information as well. All right, so for all of our presenters, we'll go in the same order uh, that you um, presented in. So the first question, could you share a favorite campus event or tradition, something that kind of gives a sense of the student flavor and experience, something that, you know, everyone in your community might look forward to each year, some, something like that. Okay. So something at Wichita State that I think is, is pretty fun. We do it at the beginning of every school year. It's called the Clash of the Colleges. I mean, we have a ton of different things that happen throughout the school year, but the Clash of Colleges is one that's really fun. It's where all of the different colleges compete against each other in different activities and events and games. And then the winner of that competition has bragging rights for the for the entire school year as being kind of the best college on the campus, if you will. So that's something that I think is kind of kind of fun and, and students really enjoy. Central? Uh, yes, ours is also at the beginning. Uh, the thing that's my favorite, it's called Wow Week. Um, it's just a, basically it's freshman move-in uh, weekend, but we have um, different events that happen that are really fun for the students, like our little carnival that we had. We had uh, Capture the Flag. We had different, um, just different events on campus to really allow the students to meet each other and just really connect with the new people that are coming in. And just overall, it's a ton of fun for the students and for the faculty and staff as well, so. Awesome, thank you. Cameron? Um, so one event that we host at Cameron University that I really love and the whole community loves together is during our fall homecoming, we have a, um, our homecoming parade and at our homecoming parade we do, do things a little bit differently because we like to take our floats down the sidewalks and how we do that is we use golf carts and so every organization on campus is given a golf cart and they have to they deck it to the nines and it's really fun a lot of organizations go like super extreme and the entire community comes out and they line the sidewalks and watch as the floats go by and students dress up in really funny costumes and it's just a really fun time all around and it's just super cool and I love it a lot. Redlands? Well, one of the events in our community, actually, that Redlands participates in every year, and this year, unfortunately, that's been canceled, but um, is actually Fried Onion Burger Day. Um, we have local um, restaurants here. We have actually two restaurants where they donate all of the meats and onions and they make like the this gigantic onion burger and then give out over I think it's 2,000 burgers that day they shut down two blocks have a car show and just live music lots of fun events and our students participate in that we have a booth there every year where we can get out into the community and it's it's just a lot of fun and something that's very different and unique to our community and our students for sure. Northwestern? Oh, we can't, um, Selena, we can't hear you. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I forgot. It's okay. 2020, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so one of my favorite events is we call it Howdy Week. So that first week of school, um, there's an event going on every single day of that first week. We have a cookout where everybody goes into our intramural field and just kind of hangs out. They get free food. 
Um, they have a slip and slide, stuff like that. And then there's a movie night um, where everybody goes. They have like corn dogs, they have popcorn from our movie theater here in town, which um, has some pretty great popcorn. Um, and then they have a block party. We, um, our student government association advisor uh, hires, you know, contracts um, a DJ to come out and play. They have a block party here on campus where the students can come, just have a good time. Um, and they do like scavenger hunts just so they can get to know the campus and the community a little better. So we kind of cooperate with um, our community on that. And then some, they even have a club fair. So uh, club and career fair. So like out in the lawn here, they have people from around the community that are, look. you know, it's a good way to kind of find a job in the community, um, join a club. Um, even find a job here on campus. So it's a lot of fun for the students and it kind of helps them get involved and um, just make those connections while, you know, that first week that they start here at Northwestern. So. Um, very cool. I hope that gives everyone a little, a little more sneak peek into the student experience um, at each campus with their campus and their community. Um, for one more question before we go, um, could each of you share something that you find to be a really unique or interesting fun fact um, or unique program or something about your institution that doesn't normally make your admissions presentations, but um, you think is pretty cool? So we'll go in the same order. So Wichita State, you can start us off. All right. So we have the original Pizza Hub building on our campus as a museum. Uh, Pizza Hub was started in Wichita by Wichita State graduates. So that's a fun fact that we have. And we have the second oldest criminal justice program in the country. So those are two kind of fun facts about our institution. Um, I would just say probably our criminal justice as well. Um, a lot of people don't know that a lot of students can actually go um, be a part of the cleat that is right outside of Ada um, during their time doing the uh, whole program or just getting their bachelor's in criminal justice. So I just really think that's probably a really unique one. My turn? Yep. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> okay, I would have to mention two things. The first being um, we just got a esports lab, which is our competitive gaming uh, team and room. And it's really super cool. Like the inside of the room is completely decked out in neon uh, signs and lights, and they've got these really big, expensive Alienware computers, and they competitively game with people from all over the world. It's super cool. I was in there all day today. Um, and our second is, so uh, um, our journalism department, one thing I really love about our department is that students have the opportunity to work with actual professors who have created their own films. Um, they direct and produce their own films, and one professor, named Dr. J. He's won multiple national awards for his indie films. And I, I, I'm, I'm from the journalism department, so I love it. I just love talking about it. Red lights? That's super cool. We also um, just are got an esports um, lab. So that's, that's really exciting. What I'd really say is unique to Redlands, though, um, is I talked about the fact that we're open admissions. And what I really love about our institution is that so many of our professors, our staff, um, our admissions counselor, are their first generation students, many of them. And um, we have been in the shoes of many of the students that are walking through our doors and might not have, or, thought perhaps they weren't college material and we can we don't just have the words to give them that we are a good starting place for them we have people to show them and help them every step of the way and i feel that that is very unique to our campus i love that about us besides the fact that we're just small and it's an intimate setting um i think that we build really good relationships with a lot of our students because of that fact alone northwestern Oklahoma State. Okay, so um, honestly, something about Northwestern is the biggest one is, you know, more than half of our students graduate debt free. And that's a big thing uh, to kind of consider. But the best thing about Northwestern is the people in it. Um, 
just because they're always there, they care about you. And our president, Dr. Janet Cunningham, she actually, her house is actually on campus. And I think that's pretty neat because she's the face of, of Northwestern, obviously. And uh, she kind of reflects on everybody else on campus. She's somebody that you can literally go up to and talk to at any time. She's somebody that will be there for you, that will be your friend. Um, sometimes, you know, sometimes you forget she's a president just because she's just so personable and so um, loving to her students. She'll invite students to her house um, to have dinner. She'll be back, you know, when we had sporting events, she would always go to the different sporting events, whether it was rodeo, football, volleyball, um, whatever it was, she tries to be involved as much as possible. And it really reflects on everybody on campus. She's that type of person and everybody else on campus kind of uh, follows her lead. So that's something really cool about Northwestern. Awesome. Thank you all for sharing and giving a little bit more insight into each of our institutions. I hope that it has inspired our attendees and those watching the recording later to want to explore more um, by heading to your websites and being in contact with the admissions offices. Um, we have come to the end of our time together tonight. And I just wanna say, first of all, thank you so much to all of our attendees um, for spending your evening, some of your evening with us and learning more about each of these institutions. And to all of our presenters, thank you so much for sharing, not just the facts and the details and the information, but the passion um, that you have for your institution um, to help all of our attendees learn more. When you close your window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being posted, posted so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording, as well as all of our other session recordings um, online where you're registered. Thank you again to everyone, and we hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us. Good night.